Capricorn Rising November 2024 shows that you are getting really serious about your mental health and you are putting feeling better internally first above and all, all else. So if you are excited to dive into what exactly you can expect this November for you based on your rising sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Erin. I make videos on astrology and also I have music out so you can check out all my things linked down below. Uh, if you want a private reading from me, I also offer those. So first we're going to dive into the overall astrology of the month and then we will pull a tarot card to see what other energy can uh, inform us about what's coming up for you. So on the first, there is a new moon in our Scorpio 11th house of networking and public or like outward related activities. So this could be a new beginning about joining a group of people. It could also be that you are socially joining a group of friends. Something new with a social group of people, either like work-related organization or just friendly, is beginning at the beginning of this month. Also in the beginning, from the 1st to the 6th, Mars in your Cancer 7th house of relationships will be opposite Pluto in your 1st house. Be careful that you are not trying to manipulate or force something that is a problem in a relationship. So this can show that there is something that you're working out or there's some friction and conflict in a relationship. It can show that it feels like you were participating in or part of a manipulation type thing and that you are likely the one who is being a little bit more subversive while the other person is being a little bit more conflict oriented or direct. On the third, however, Venus in your 12th house of mental health is opposing Jupiter in your sixth house of physical health. This shows that your inner world is improving and your physical health is also improving. So any adjustments or just maybe trends are improving uh, your physical and mental health throughout this month. On the 4th, Mars is going to enter your Leo 8th house of investments and shared finances. So Mars is going to go retrograde over the next few months. So this is showing that there's the beginnings of some sort of conflict or having to work something out financially with things like savings, loans, taxes, investments. This is not income and it's not day-to-day -day money. This is more complicated like money you owe, share, or other people owe to you. On the 9th, Venus in your 12th house is going to score Neptune in your third house of communication or writing. So do be aware that something that could be disrupting or changing your mental health in a way that you're not aware of, but is kind of uh, dishonest or deluding you is communication or social media or like writing based. Like you could be confusing yourself or delusional about something with social media or writing, and it's not good for your mental health. Then on the 12th, Venus is going to enter your Capricorn first house. So Venus entering the first house means that for the second half of this November and part of December, beauty, attention, all on you. You are more attractive, you are more beautiful, you have more harmonious energy with your personality and character. I'm like, thank God, because I know I will be filming a movie around this time and I tend to like shut down on, I'm like seen and not heard if people think I'm like the biggest, like the, the resting bitch face goes crazy when I'm on set. Like, I don't like to, I don't know, I'm just like seen and not heard, which is like kind of weird but with me. I just prefer to be like professional. This is good, so maybe I'm actually not, uh, people see me for these stuff and when I am not the resting bitch face, I'm not. Um, then on the 15th, there's a full moon in your Taurus fifth house of dating and creativity. Just be aware that uh, this full moon is volatile and to expect the unexpected. It's chaos, it's just chaos being revealed. The fifth house is either creative or romantic things. So if you are involved with something creative, it could show a shock or something wild happening and crazy happening. If you are in a relationship, it could show that romantically there's something that is disrupted or being revealed. It could also be a crazy party at night, to be honest. I'm hoping for that because if I'm filming a movie like in a relationship, I really don't need this. Like, I don't need this. Then on the 15th as well, Saturn is going to station direct in your Pisces third house. The third house is about communication, productivity, writing projects. And Saturn going retrograde showed that you were rethinking or kind of being slowed down or revising things that were about writing, communication, or uh, anything like uh, tasks or productivity wise that you have to do daily. This now shows that you are ready to go forward, implement, or start working on new boundaries and new structures with communication and writing. On the 16th to the 18th, the sun in your 11th house will oppose Uranus in your 5th house. This is showing that a group of people and something creatively, it's crazy. Or like your friends and your romantic partner, something's crazy. Like the crazy event that happened, now people know. And they're like, wow, that's crazy. So the crazy thing that would have happened under the full moon, people are feeling crazy about it a few days later. However, from the 17th to the 18th, Mercury in your 12th house is opposite Jupiter in your 6th house. So even throughout all this, your health is doing better. Like physically and mental, that it's, it's better. That has improved. That is doing well. Then on the 20th, Pluto is re-entering your Aquarius second house. So with Pluto, I have a full video on it for the next 20 years. Um, it's a 20-year transit that's now firmly starting with transformation of your money and the way that you make income. 
So that's now starting firmly, and you will find that that is transformed dramatically over the next 20 years. Also on the 22nd, the sun is entering your 12th house. So when the sun enters Sagittarius, it's lighting up a more private mental health focused part of your chart. You're going to feel probably for the last week of November and throughout most of December, you're more introverted and like hermit mode and focused on your mental health. On the 26th, there will be a Mercury retrograde starting there. So for you, the Mercury retrograde is very mental health related and spiritual and psychological. So it might be a time of you rethinking things like therapy, psychiatry, things that you were doing to support your mental health. And on the 30th, there is a new moon in your 12th house, which shows a new beginning for you around mental health and your inner like well-being to take care of bad habits or start something better. If you have any thoughts or predictions for this month for you, leave me a comment down below saying how you're feeling. I'm interested about uh, how you guys are doing after the eclipse season and how this November is going to play out for you. The tarot card that we have here for Capricorn Risings this November is the Nine of Wands. This is a final push card. It's like you're not quite there, but you are so close to finally like doing enough work for the win or for the, the thing that you're doing. So when this comes up, I'm just like a little bit more persistence, a little bit more resilient. This is like the, one of the most common cards for me, which is really annoying because it's like how much more almost there is there. Like it's been like almost there for like 26 years. Like let's fucking have a, one win. But this does show, fortunately, that it feels like there's something that you're in the precipice of and you just have to like push a little bit further. There could be a relationship trouble involved, but that your mental health, like you feel it. If you enjoyed this, make sure that you give me a like and make sure that you subscribe. A little over 50% of you guys are, so if we could get closer to like 100, that would be cool, you know? Um, otherwise, I wish you a very happy November and I will see you later. Bye! Oh,